Welcome to the Green Winch Vaping Channel. We have a vaping review here. This is from Geek Vape, the Aegis X with the Cerberus tank. Look at that there. This is what we're going to be reviewing today. But before we get started on this review, this item was sent to me from New Vaping. Dot com. There will be links to their website in my blog below. Their logo is going to be on screen. Google them, you will find them. However, for this kit, I have a discount code that was sent to me. Coupon code for this. It's no affiliate. I'm making no money out of this. This coupon code is just for you. This will take a whopping £26. Great Britain pounds. £26 off of the kit. £26 pound just with this code the code is on screen look the code up when you check out put that code in you will save 26 pound on new vaping this mod and kit exactly what you're going to see in this video is 69.99 so it's 69.99 there um, from newvaping.com just there look there's their website works lovely it's, a, it's, a, it's actually a decent website um it's 69.99 but you've got this 20 percent 26 pound off, 26 pound off. Amazing, amazing coupon code. Thank you, um, Kuro, for sending me the coupon code. It's nice speaking to you on WhatsApp. You, you're a decent bloke. You just literally send me items out said, uh, and I'll review them. Thank you for that. And this is the, the Aegis X kit. And this is a, this is top of the line. We're talking top of the line kit. That's why retail prices everywhere are like around a 70, price, 70 pound figure. And that, even that's quite reasonable, to be honest. But if you look on some place online, this is going to go up to £100. This is a, a, almost a top-of-the-line kit. Not top-of-the-line, but it's, it's getting that way. Use the £26 code and, you, and you're getting almost offer of the year. It's, it's almost the greatest vaping offer ever. Let's go to the close-up of this kit. I will come back. I'll tell you what I, I like and, and, the, and a few things I'm not quite so keen on. On this. It does come with a Cerberus tank as well. If you're in the EU, this, or, or, or basically if you're in... EU or Great Britain, you're going to get the two mil kit. That's how companies have to sell, sell it. You can only sell the two mil kit. However, watch the unboxing close up. I will show you a simple way to make the two mil tank into a whopping five mil with the bubble glass, etc. Let's go to that close up unboxing. So here we go with a close-up unboxing of this Aegis kit from Geek Vape. This is the 2mm EU edition. In a second, I'll show you a little way around that 2mm. It's not an hard one. It's just a little a little sort of hacker way around the 2mm uh, EU nonsense. Let's have a look at the back of the box, what we are going to get inside. So this mod is water and dust resistant, high shock resistant. Um, there's a bit about the chip. We've got a 2.4 inch OLED screen um, and the wattage is five to two hundred let's do that spin test and then get this open oh there's the spin test oh it's quite heavy but it's spun well so in this box you're going to get the mod itself the Aegis x right there we're going to get a little bit of warranty information etc in this little compartment here you're getting a screen cover they give you a little screen cover screen protection like you would put on your mobile phone nice that they've included it in the box you're going to get your user instruction manual like I always say if you're new to this device or new to vaping have a flick through this it will help you out in this little box here you're going to get your spares and everything so you're getting a spare coil there you're getting some spare bits and bobs they give you quite a lot in the uh, in the kit you're getting your USB charging cable you're getting that just keeps it fresh you're getting a spare coil put it there you're getting some some spare seals and that's your battery door um battery charging compartment you're getting a spare one of them because i'll show you that in a second and some spare screws some spare washers seals loads of them look how many you're getting loads you're getting loads of spares and you're getting a spare piece of glass for the tank the cerberus tank which is here this is the two mil tank if you're in the eu you know all about the two mil nonsense a little hack well it's not really a hack but a little uh little thing Go on eBay or somewhere, or, or, or to your local vape shop, etc. You buy this little kit for a couple of quid. You get a little bubble tank and you get this little adapter. Nice drip tip at the top, nice big and wide. I've not used this tank, but it has been out a little while. A nice rubber seal there, easy to fill up. You can see the mesh coil down there. And at the bottom here is your airflow. It does feel smooth, that. Now I feel smooth. And there's your 
Here's your Cerberus tank, but we'll have a... I'll give you my thoughts on that when we when I vape this for a few days. We'll put that there, and here's the spare coil. Let's have a look at the coil. So this is a coil. It's a 30 to 90 watt, best at 60 to 80 watt. Is it going to say our resistance? And it's a 0.2 ohm resistant, and it's a mesh coil right there. So going on to the mod here, we've got a massive screen. Like I said, it's 2.4 inch screen. Turn it around, we've got a nice panel here. This does make it look nice. This does come in a range of colours, and this is like a almost like a memory foam sort of material. It does feel nice. There's your top spring loaded part there. And this is how you this is how you charge it or upgrade the firmware, etc. You've just got this that you pull out because this is waterproof, this needs to be sealed, so that's that's there, and you get a spare one of these rubber things in case it falls off or you lose it. That just sits in there, quite flush. There's your fire button there. Big old fire button, you're up and down. Logo in there at the bottom. This is where you're going to put your batteries. Pull that over. And there you put your batteries. You can see your plus and your minus. We'll get some batteries in there in a minute. And there's a big big old seal around this as well. So I'll say it again. This is waterproof, dustproof, etc. And here's the screen. that I'm getting fingerprints on, so it's, it's got a bit of a fingerprint magnet onto it. And the old mod has got like this rubber sort of finish. All this round here, it's all sort of rubber. It's designed to last. So we've got metal, we've got rubber, we've got that plastic screen here. We can put a screen cover on it to protect it. Designed to last. I'm going to get some batteries in this and we're going to go through the menu system on this Aegis from Geek Vape, the Aegis X. When you first turn it on, you want to five click it, five click to turn on. Get our little startup logo there. Looks nice. And this is the screen. Big, bright, bold vibrant screen as we can see here we've got our memory presets there we've got power we've got standard so we've got the power in standard um we've got 50 watts this does go up to 200 watts we've got uh some information here no atomizer obviously we've got coil voltage amp and that's the amp like ramp up time i believe and we've got a puff count there triple oh seven i didn't do that on purpose it's, it's just how it was so if we go our up and down buttons we can whack this up all the way to 200 watts and as you can see at the top here, while this is going up, that's our battery indicators. As you can see, my batteries ain't charged the same. When you get to 200 watts, you can tap it again and it will go all the way back down to five. We click the fire button three times. And we can see the menu one is lit white. And then we can go through our presets. So we can have four presets right there. You can have them preset to whatever you want. So you can just quickly go back to them. Press that again. We're on power now. So now we can go through our different modes. So we've got our our vpc we've got a bypass we've got all our um temperature controls etc going through them all there and you can you can use them as you want if we click that again we've got on standard this is our ramp up time sort of so to speak so we can have standard powerful or soft we'll just leave that in standard so to lock the screen just hold these up and down buttons in for a few seconds we're going to lock the screen we hold them down again for a few seconds, just, just have to hold them down. It unlocks the screen just like that. If you want to up the brightness, you hold the up button and the fire button. See? And we can up the brightness, which is almost awkward to do. And if we hold the down button, we'll lower the brightness. So to get to like an extra sort of menu screen, if you click the button three times, you'll see that's lit up white. The memory four that I've got it on. Now hold your up and down buttons. Oh, I've missed it. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's lit up white. Hold your up and down button. We go to our extra menu screen. So we've got themes. We've got auto. And that's like auto for the coil and stuff. We can change the themes. So we've got a range of different themes that we can use. Can't say I'm loving any of them, but come out of that we can change the color so you can have the theme but you can also change the color of it just like that the red one looks pretty good you change the color of them just like that go through them there's a few different colors go back out you've got the version so that's if, if you upgrade this is the version i'm on i haven't upgraded this yet um if there's an update there's an update i just like to keep them as they come so now we've come out of that so one two three hold these two down go into this menu system so we've got this AAB off or on that's your battery indicators I believe and you can reset reset your puff take it back to factory settings etc 
Um, we can come out of that. We can turn this auto on or off. We're going to leave it all pretty much as it arrived. And you've got to wait a little while for it to go back. And now if I want, we'll just keep it on memory one. And when you leave it, it all sort of sorts itself out. And we can ramp up the wattage to whatever we want. And that's a quick overview of the menu system. Um, it's when you get used to it, you get used to it. It's a little bit awkward knowing which button to press to go to the menu screen, but that all pros and cons will go over when I change the camera angle round. So if you're in the EU, pretty much like me, um, and you don't want that two mil tank, buy one of these online. Like I said, if I can find links, I'll pull it before, you will get a piece of glass and you'll get this little adapter ring. You need this ring if you just buy this glass. Without this, it ain't gonna work. Take your tank apart, just like that. Leave your coil in, obviously. Get this little ring adapter. Screw this in here. Nice and tight. Get your bit of glass, your bubble tank, making this bigger than it's th th than that, basically. Get this top up. You're probably best putting this actually in the glass to start with. Just like that. And you want to screw this in here. Nice and tight. Get your top. And there we go. So our Cerberus tank in the EU is not that 2 mil. We've now got that, which I think is about 5 mil. I can't say for sure. There we go. Just a little quick tip for all of us in the EU. There we go. You saw the close-up unboxing of this Aegis kit. Let's just go over vapor production, vapor taste first. And that's mainly coming from this Cerberus tank. 60 watt. Look, that's just at a 60 watt vape. The flavor is lovely. The airflow, I'm having fully wide open. I wouldn't want to close it off at all. No, I want the airflow fully wide open. 60 watts, the coil says best at 60 to 80. So I can, I can turn this up a little bit. So let's go to, let's go to 80 watts. But 60 watts is really nice. Eighty watts. It's a Vaping powerhouse, you're getting a lot of vapor production, you're getting a lot of vapor flavor. That's really nice at 60 watts. It's, it's probably even better at 80 watts, to be honest. It's a power monster, and that's on the standard ramp up time. I wouldn't need that on the powerful ramp up time. So, vapor production, vapor flavor is outstanding, absolutely outstanding. So, this mod is apparently water resistant, shock resistant, dust resistant, everything resistant. The screen is plastic. That's probably gonna scratch. They give you a screen cover. I ain't gonna put a screen cover on, but you do get a screen cover to protect it from scratches and stuff. It's a robust mod. You got, I like this aluminium. Aluminium, metal. I like this metal on the back. It feels solid, it's got screws, it feels solid. This bit, that's like almost memory foam. That is comfortable to hold. The fire button is absolutely lovely to press. It's a nice fire button. The up and down's lovely. The screen is bright, bold, vibrant, but I would say a little bit boring looking. I've gone through the um, the pluses. It's a really well-built mod. It vapes brilliantly. It's well-built. It's solid. It's water resistant. It's dust resistant. It's all that resistance. It's decent. It's probably one of the best mods out there at the moment. This is probably one of the best kits out there at the moment. The battery door is solid, it's lovely. So now let's, let's go over the few bits I don't like, because there is some, there's some I don't like. The, the first one is why that screen is so big, there's gonna be some issues with this screen. That's gonna drain an extra little bit of battery. There's no two ways about it, that's draining an extra little battery. You can turn the brightness down, etc. but if you're playing with a screen that size, which is a massive screen, the biggest screen I've ever seen on a mod, um, or that I've owned, you, you're gonna, your battery percentage are going to go down a little bit. I'm not bothered about that. The tank, I have no issues with the tank. Easy to fill up, easy to make it a bigger tank. This screen, why it's so big, vibrant, everything's easy to see. 
it's boring looking. It's a little, in my opinion, it's a little bit boring looking. There's nothing exciting about that screen. I've gone through the different themes, the different colours. None of them float my boat really. None of them really float my boat. I end up just skipping with a standard one because also this mod, it it needs another button. This is the sort of mod what needs another button. It needs another, it needs the menu button. It, it just needs it. It's, it's too awkward to go into your menu system because you've got to touch that three times then you've got to hold them two in and you end up knocking one of them too far. You do eventually get in your menu system but you could end up knocking one and I bet when I go back I'm not on that 80 watts. So yeah, I'm not, look, see, I'm on memory preset two at 35 watts. So I've messed it up already. So you click that three times, hold both them in, it just went back to memory preset one. Then it goes to your, you, you, you like, it's almost like a hidden menu system. And you go down these and you can change the theme. But like I said, look, they're all, none of these are floating my boat. They're all boring. There's only three or four of them. And they're all rather, rather boring, if you ask me. So you can change the color of them. Let's, let's, let's keep the, the red one on, but even that, it's, I don't know, I love the screen, it's just the menu systems I'm finding a little bit boring. That, that's quite, that's probably, probably one of the best ones, that right there. Another minor issue, that, um, I don't know, are you one of them people that charge your batteries on the mod? Some people do, some people don't, some people do in emergencies. If you wanted to pick, and I, and, and I do and don't, I sometimes put them in a charger, sometimes if I'm rushing that, I'll just plug the mod in. So you've got it like this, you want to charge it, you want to add some battery power to your batteries, basically, you want to add some power. So you're like this, you've got to unflick this, which is almost awkward, but I know why that rubber bit's there, that's to keep the water resistance, etc. You've got to almost hold this back, you've got to look what way this little USB thing goes, and then you've got to try to find it, you can't see, uh, to pull it in and then look, I'm struggling doing this and, uh, and I've got it in, and I've got it in. And when it's in, it's like that and then you've got to plug that in somewhere and it's like that. It's just awkward. It's it's completely in the wrong place. That charging port there, in my opinion, is completely in the wrong place. I don't like it there at all. So like I say, if you charge your batteries by just plugging your mod in, if you're one of them, and then people that do it, and I do it as well, you, it's a little bit awkward to do it. And yeah, it's just... It's an added asshole. If it was at the back, if it was down there, if it was there, if it was there, if it was there, there is space. If it was right in the middle there, three issues. Three issues I have for this. The screen, why it's massive, bold, bright, vibrant, all that. It's a little bit boring to look at. The added themes are not that good. Um, the charging position, I don't like. And what's the other issue I had? The menu system, it's almost awkward to get in the menu system. You, and if you've not gone in the menu system, if you've had this for two months and you've not gone in the menu system, I guarantee you will forget how to even access the menu, menu system. Vape wise, no. Comfort in the hands. The fill of it, the added benefits of knowing it's water resistant, dust resistant, make this an absolutely outstanding purchase. I know I had some added faults, but forget all them faults, forgetting all them faults, putting all them faults aside, this is an absolutely outstanding kit to own. This is, I can see why this is popular. You can get different color patterns on the back, and I quite like this one to be honest, that bit, like the sort of memory phone that I've said, it does feel really comfortable. It's in the top five of kits I own at the moment, easily, easily in the top five. This is a kit with the service tank is an absolutely outstanding purchase for any sort of vapor. This would be an ideal Christmas present. And like I said, from new vaping, use that code, you're getting 26 pound off, 26 pound off. Yeah, just, just to wrap this up, just to do a quick over, overview of this, absolutely outstanding if i was rating out of 10 it's a, it's a 9 out of 10 as a kit that's a 9 out of 10 it's just got a few added issues that i spoke about if you like this video remember to subscribe and all that sort of stuff there will be links below if you go to my blog below there'll be a link to newvaping.com or just google them add the code you'll save 26 pounds the code's on screen or it's written down below in the description that's all there to save you lot money thank you new vaping for sending me this out to review for you lot. I will see you lot on the next video, you everyone. Take care of yourselves.